Hey guys, I wanted to make a message to you to say on a Saturday night I am in my comfy clothes sitting listening to a message by Carolyn Mace on the power of choices and taking notes like I did at a workshop of hers I paid a lot of money to go to in Sedona for three days and learn about myself and the power of choices and her theories and create my own and I've really paid a lot of money to put myself into rooms with really phenomenal people and then I've done a lot of comparing myself to the people whose rooms I was getting myself into and I've had the privilege of connecting with some really influential people thought leaders in today's day and age and basically I say all of that because we meet the people that we need to meet when we meet them because they are there to give us a lesson as we are there for them. We're all in this together. No one of us is an island and it's time for us to stop thinking we need to keep all of our wisdom and insights to ourselves. And the other thing that we need to stop keeping to ourselves are these stories of negativity that just keep us in a repetitive loop that bring us back to a reality that we created yesterday we didn't really enjoy even in the creative process. And yet, how do we think we're actually going to enjoy the experience of it? What if we stopped comparing ourselves to what we were before and what we wanted to be but aren't yet and instead decided to create something that we actually want for ourselves? Remembering that we are the conscious creators, the co-creators with a grand overall designer that loves us and gave us the gift of free will and choice. Meaning we have the opportunity in any moment to live a life of integrity or to sacrifice our own honor for the sake of an instant, frivolous, gratifying experience that lasts a short time and was never actually ours in the first place because we tried to bypass steps that were required. How is an elephant eaten one bite at a time, right? It's time for us to come together and I have a lot of wisdom, insight, knowledge, BS, belief systems, but don't we all, that I would love to share with you if you want to listen. If you feel like it would be valuable to listen and absorb some of what I have encountered and intentionally exposed myself to so that I could be the vessel that gave what I've encountered to you for you to then decide what it means to and for you, not taking what I say as I say it, but to realize that you take what I say and then filter it through your own internal filtering system, the BS of your inner world. It's just, is that BS yours, that you originated yourself, or was that just simply inherited by people that didn't know any better and then did the best that they could, but didn't really actually do a fantastic job of actually supporting your self-image and your self-esteem in a way that would help you say, I'm okay in those moments of change and transition that make us feel unsafe and insecure? I want to share some of these insights with you more regularly and I'm going to start by hosting a live call tomorrow at 8 p.m. so in one hour from when I finish recording this message today tonight so February 16th 2020 at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time will be the first call of many in sharing about the power of choices and the necessity to become a conscious co-creator of a reality you enjoy. And I'm going to talk about this message I'm watching now and I'm going to get back to once I get this message uploaded for you. And then also the retreat that I went to and all of the other workshops, conferences, sojourns that I've went on in order to find myself 
to strip back those layers that made me think I needed to be something more than what I am when actually I am enough as I am, as are you. We have to remember we started as enough, we'll finish as enough, and the only sense of not enough that we'll experience along the way are those days when we say, hey, who am I? You are an individuated expression of the grand overall designer, the creator of all that is, the one who gave us life by actually helping us emerge from love and then return to it. Love is the answer. Love is the key. Love, passion, peace, all of those come from getting back to the heart of the moment. The magic of being enough as we are, where we are, when we are. You are enough. You are loved. And I have so much to share with you tomorrow. So have a great night. Blessings. Lord J. Namaste. The light in me honors, the light in you. Thank you.